Good evening, everybody. It's Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. You could probably see that my phone is wobbling. I can't imagine why. I think the criminals are trying to uh, irradiate me while I'm sitting here, and in doing so, it's affecting my phone. But anyway, that, that happened a little while ago, even before I started recording. It is December 3rd, 2024. I hope everybody's doing well. We had some snow overnight. I mean, not a lot. I mean, just enough to have to, like, push around and uh, get off, uh, you know, sweep off the porch and stuff. But it's just really yucky. There's no sun. It's probably going to be like this the next couple of days. But I finally started a Substack newsletter, and some of you received alerts about it. And some of you didn't. And don't be offended. I will post a link down below. So you can subscribe. It's free. There is a paid section, but I haven't signed up for it yet. And um, so it's, it's free for everybody. I'll probably write something once or twice a month. So don't worry, I won't be clogging up your mail. It's just a good way to keep in touch, um, especially uh, speaking about topics that we can't discuss on TheyTube. Uh, or words, you know, random words that, you know, we say sometimes and uh, it gets uh, caught up in the algorithm. <clears throat> so I will post that below. I created that last night at the recommendation um, during the live stream Saturday night. And it's something I've been thinking about for a while, but it wasn't, bec wasn't until a uh, subscriber mentioned it that I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do it. So I signed up through Substack invited whomever was in in my whoever wrote to me over the last couple of days I just grabbed your names stuck them in there so there are 29 people that received notifications um, that you're subscribed and um, everybody else all the other 2500 people out there I'll leave the link down below if you want to subscribe and we'll stay in touch that way um Let's see. I wanted to mention also thank you again for for the donations and something uh, also something else that a lot of people don't realize when you get monetized you'll have the little advertisements that kind of creep in while you're listening to the video. Now, I know how difficult it is for people to donate whether it's to me or anybody else to my cats or whatever. But it really does help everybody's channel, especially targeted people. If you're able to listen to one of those 30-second ads, uh, a couple of reasons. One, it's monetized. It helps uh, you know pay a couple of dollars every time you listen to the 30-second ad. It also alerts YouTube that people are paying attention to your content and listening to the ads, and they're more likely to recommend those videos that you're listening to the ads on to other people. So it's twofold. One, you can donate for free just by listening to, you know, one of those 30 second videos, or sometimes they'll play two 30 second videos back to back. I know it's annoying and stuff, but it's, it's a, a free way of donating to the channel. So, so there's a Substack newsletter that I'll post the, um, the subscribe in the description section and um, I don't know I'll probably post it somewhere else on on um, probably the community page I'll have to look for a good place to, to do that and also during the live chat one of our subscribers was really kind to write a very thoughtful letter to our local sheriff here Sheriff Daniel Isaacs, um, about the atrocities taking place here. It's one thing to be targeted for harassment and stuff, but it's another to, to stuff a dead animal in somebody's mailbox with their mail already inside so that the, the existing mail was covered in blood. And then the uh, delivery person was not able to deliver the mail to the mailbox. That is mail fraud, okay? It's tampering with a mailbox, which is a federal offense. But of course, these criminals, they, 
perform a lot of illegal activities. In fact, everything they do is illegal. So I'm going to read a, the letter that was sent via email. And anybody who wants to mirror this email, this letter, to the sheriff on my behalf, because we have to join together... We're the ones that are going to have to fight this because nobody's coming to help us. I mean, look at what's happening in North Carolina. But with all targeted people, we're kind of on our own. And honestly, if you're going to trust the um, uh, the big... Uh, how do I phrase it? I'm not going to call them leaders. The people with the big targeted websites, you know, that collect a lot of money, taking salaries and stuff like that. Um, they're not going to help you either. They don't donate money back to anybody. So it only serves to line their pockets. And besides the fact that if they create lawsuits and you're not on it, how does that serve your purpose? But anyway, so we have to band together. So during the live stream, this email was sent to our local sheriff, Daniel Isaacs, and I read it on the live stream, which of course is almost three hours long, so it's going to be hard for you to find. So I thought I would read it for you here. Dear Sheriff Isaacs, we hope this message finds you well. We're writing to express our concern regarding a string of recent incidents of vandalism that have occurred at the location of Miss Valenti's homesteading property in McKee County, Kentucky, and the apparent lack of follow-up investigation into the matter of vandalism and harassment. Miss Valenti is a senior citizen and respected member of the community. The incident in question occurred on October 1st, 2024, and was promptly reported to your office on October 1, 2024, under report number 2024-00-4185. The damage included bags of defecated waste paper released on Miss Valenti's property in the middle of the night. This trespassing and vandalizing has caused significant distress and concern for safety in Miss Valenti's neighborhood. Prior to and subsequent to the event in question, Miss Valenti underwent a series of cases of vandalism of her property as well as consistent harassment, including most recently on November 26, 2024, where an animal remains were stuffed in her mailbox. And her mailbox and its contents were damaged as a consequence. This incident was also reported to the Key County Police Office, who did help with the incident but there has been no clear follow-up or interest in preventing subsequent incidents from occurring. And indeed, I do want to say that there was another incident where they left a turkey carcass on my property. While we understand the demands placed on your office as, and the need to prioritize resources, we respectfully request an update on the status of investigation Additionally, we would appreciate it if this matter could be given due consideration as it impacts not only Ms. Valenti's property, but also the sense of security within her community. If additional information or evidence is required to assist in the investigation, Ms. Valenti would be more than willing to provide it. She would also appreciate guidance on any further steps she might take to support the resolution of this issue. Thank you for your attention in this matter. We trust in your commitment to upholding the safety and well-being of all community members. We look forward to your response at your earliest convenience. Sincerely, Joshua Tatum on behalf of Ms. Lorraine Valenti and other concerned citizens. Well, thank you once again, Joshua. That was an excellent letter. It was to the point. And um, a as you know, um, after this letter was written, a turkey carcass was left on the property. So these people have no remorse, they're entitled, they have no fear. But what they will fear is exposure. And each time the sheriff fails to address the incidents that take place here, 
it becomes more evidence that the sharing of this information publicly and exposing it that way is the only way this is going to get resolved. Get the attention of the media, get the attention of citizen journalists, and potentially other nonprofit attorney firms out there. And there are a few. But anyway, thank you again, Joshua. I really appreciate it. So I wanted to read that letter to you guys if, since you know many people did not join the uh, live stream. And of course, you know, with almost three hours long, it's kind of hard to listen to all of that and get to uh, this letter, which was written probably towards the end of the live stream. But thank you again. This letter was addressed to our local sheriff here where I live in rural Kentucky, Jackson County, Kentucky. Sheriff Daniel Isaacs, and um, it was with regard to the vandalism, trespassing, harassment, and basically stalking by certain groups of individuals here. It went unaddressed. There's been no investigation. There's been no update. There's been no arrests. So, anyway, once again, the way you can help the channel is to listen to at least one of the 30 second advertisements when you're listening to the videos. I know it's a pain in the neck. You know, I know do it too. I do it too. Like sometimes I'll just skip over it. And sometimes I'll just listen to all the ads um, on the channels, on targeted people's channels. I'll just listen to all the ads. What is it? Another minute of my time, <laughs> 30 seconds of my time. So anyway, and thank you again for all the people that have donated cat food. The cats appreciate it. Um, we can use dry cat food because this time of the year, the wet cat food for the uh, cats that are, that are outside that won't come in, um, it gets really hard and cold really fast. So um, we're using up a lot more dry cat food between the fox, the raccoons, the possums, and the cats, um, and the birds. There are a lot, and the, the guineas come and eat it too. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing well, and I'm going to sign off for now, and I will have another video for you. Oh, wait, I did want to mention one more thing. One second, because... One second. I can't read the article. I can't read the article because of the content, but I want to bring it to your attention. It's Ramola D. It's her... Everyday... Con the Everyday Concerned Citizen... She has a newsletter through her website, and I'm just going to read the heading, okay? The heading is, is everyone going to be labeled mentally ill? Just say no to mental health screenings at school or college or workplace, the doctor's office, or any hospital or health center or online. It's by Ramola D. on December 3rd, 2024. That is the everyday concerned citizen. And um, she goes on to say that there are numerous and hubristic lies emanating from the so-called mental health world, which seems to be the, I can't, this is what I can't say. I can't, I'm not going to be able to read the rest of it because it'll pull it up. It'll just clog up the algorithms, <laughs> so to speak. So. Um, it's an interesting article. It affects every targeted person. It affects everybody. Is everyone going to be labeled mentally ill? And just say no to the mental health screenings. So I'm going to sign off for now. I hope everybody's doing well.